Okay, you're back. You're here with us. It's Humo Hangout with Kofi the Guru, your host with the most. Yes, fantastic episode coming up. Yes, ah, I'm thrilled because it's going to be magical. Oh, you have an, an idea? It's, I'm giving you a clue. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Today. <laughs> okay, by the way, um, I look fly, right? I look, oh, yeah, you know. There was a time we couldn't be like this, but now we can be like this. Have you ever been so embarrassed in your life that you dress top to bottom in your flyest fly, hoping to impress? And then one very big boy, rich man, loaded man, just comes with one item of clothing and you feel stupid, useless. I will never forgive that man. Pool party, Ikoi. 2005. I was paid to come and entertain. All the money they paid me, I took most of it, went to a boutique, chartered new suit, silver, silver shoe, new shirt, new tie. Spent almost all the money to impress. Arrived at the party, pool party. Rich, rich, Ikoi people sitting down, lounging throwing jokes, they were just looking at me, not knowing that they had sized up all my outfits as small boy. I didn't know I was feeling cool, coming from where I was coming from, Bariga boy. And so, the celebrant, that me, I went to buy new wardrobe, most expensive boutique in Ikeja to impress, came out wearing a knicker, t-shirt, and slippers. Looking very simple. Oh, poverty. In his simplicity, you could tell that he was in millions. And I was looking at him because from the smell of the perfume, I knew <laughs> that I was poor. <laughs> from the perfume, I knew that even the perfume washed me. To now make matters worse, I was looking at his leg. That these simple slippers, I'm very sure these slippers won't be anything less than 25k. So as I was looking, the driver caught my eye. I said, ah, Oga, you, do, you like Oga slippers? I said, man, it's fine. No? I'm sure it can't be less than 25k. 25k? That's slippers. Where Oga just buy from Dubai? Ah, that slippers is nothing less than 150k. And they paid me 150k totally. I said, these slippers. So the whole of me is that slipper. He said, ah, that nika just came back from uh, Abu Dhabi. That nika, when you buy from Abu Dhabi, is 250K. Nika. That t-shirt. Ah. <laughs> that t-shirt. Now three, the day pack. 1.5. Then the perfume. Ah. The import is special from Paris. Ah. They call it, uh, he was trying to remember the name. Nothing less than two million per bottle, small like this. So I just looked at the man. So the whole of this man standing like this is my whole entire family savings and generation. <laughs> that was the day I gave up on poverty. Not anymore. Give up. Welcome to Humo Hangout. Ah, poverty is a past. Hello guys, my name is Ainana and spontaneity is my game. You are hanging out with, you more hang out with Kofi Daguru. You don't change the dial. If you change the dial, trust me, I'll give you my word. Your transformer will you blow. Mm, alone. I'm gonna blow it on. Okay people, it's still humor hangout. I told you. Uh, today is going to be an exceptional one. Um, I have this amazing, amazing young talent here. 
Now, lately, most of the talents you see blow up in Nigeria are either comedians or musicians or actors. He's one of a kind. He's the youngest, and um, there's something, there's a movement he's creating that is going to wow the world. As in, a lot of people are just getting to realize what is coming. See, this guy read Peter Okoye's mind and knew where he would be on a particular day. He knew Peter Okoye was going to be in Paris on a particular day. He got it right. Now, the fearful thing about this is, imagine a man wanting to cheat and his wife now calls this guy to come and read the man's mind. Wedding don't dissolve. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Human Hangout, Babs Cardini. Hi guys, I'm your boy Babs Cardini and we're here on Human Hangout. Thanks for having me today. You know I fear you. You Do people normally fear you? Do people just see you and be, hey, go do this boy? No, no, and you know, I didn't make uh, magic look like something that's scary. This mm. magic is just for fun. Mm, for yeah. fun. Now you make me, they fear you. <laughs> yours, yours was different. It was different. Oh, 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 okay, it was different. So I can be different in fearing you. <laughs> for you were in your own house. I was in my own house interviewing you over Instagram Live. And you hypnotized me from where you were. And you, you say my own was different. How? I be you know, how, how? He, he exactly like what you said. You said it was no, you said I hypnotized you. I didn't perform magic on you. They are two different things. <laughs> hey Babs. Come, how did you get these skills? How how I, I know people go to apprentice for uh, maybe um, uh, be a organizer, a carpenter or learn a trade in some mm-hmm. book. How do you get to magic? How, how do you learn magic? Like I said, I've said this a lot of time and I'll say it again. It's just me doing it. Like <laughs> something I love, One something day. I just feel like <laughs> it's something I find to do. Like it's something I it's my it's it's my source of fun. Yeah, let me just say it like that. My source of fun. As in you didn't join any wizard group no, no, or no. witches and you know your mom was not a witch, your father was no 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you just woke up one day and say, Oh yeah, water rice and the water answered you. No, oh. come on, come on. I, I see magic shows on TV. Okay. Uh, that was when I was young and I f- I thought magic was meant for the whites only. Okay. Because you never get to see a black magician. Well, we well, not so it. famous or so popular or so everywhere. Okay, I don't know about that, but I just know. One that. of the greatest ever was um, Shinopela's father. Funny enough, I never heard about him until people started talking to you. That, yes. Okay. Well, you'll be the next great thing. I'm very sure of that. I, and um, now, on your personal tip, um, how old are you again? Okay, I'm twenty. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Obviously. Obviously, which girl, which girl will want to agree for you? As in, ah, uh, and you say nobody is fearing you. <laughs> Who will want to agree? Because they just can't imagine what would happen. Maybe you know, maybe you use them for uh, the sacrifice that gives you more power or something. You know, oh, Babs, I still don't believe you just woke up one day and decided to say, okay, uh, this card or something, something should just do like this. No, I was once like everyone. Like I wanted to know if magic was real. So I can be a magician too. Yes, you can. I can. Oh. But it's not about being a magician. It's about, um, there are two things about magic. There is knowing the secret and there's also being able oh, to perform hey, it. Secret. What is the secret? If you know the secret, it kills the phone in it. Oh, so you you can know the secret. Me, I can't I, know the secret. Or like, you know, if, if, if like a young guy approach me now and say you want to do magic with me, I won't be surprised. I won't be like, if, whatever he's doing, I know what he's doing. So I won't give him that reaction in it. Or like when I perform oh, magic to you and you go crazy I get, about it. I, I hope you people understand what he's saying. I know what you're saying. You see, the illusion that he creates to make you think that that thing is real, yeah. mm-hmm. he already knows it. So if you try it on him, it can't work. But for Mumu like us... <laughs> <laughs> but still, there's still, there's still like um, greater magicians that still wow me most, uh, most time. I like. know, I know. There's one spade guy, what's his name again? Mike something, okay. I don't follow magic like that, but I'm amazed at... So on a personal tip, you, yourself, um, are you in school? Do you have plans to yeah. okay. go back to school, school? Last year, I finished my national diploma at Yaba Tech. I studied computer engineering. So, as for wait, me... Wait, wait, oh. You studied computer engineering. Did you go to class? Of course, I went to class. You didn't just pass. As you just do... <laughs> no, <laughs> go, 
Do it us. No, me, I'm sure that your lecturers, eh? <laughs> no, actually, I'm someone that don't. I, I actually don't like letting people know I'm a magician most of the time. If I go to somewhere new, well, you're so, famous now. If, even though, if, like, I remember when I went to the streets and they're like, "What was your competition?" I couldn't say I'm a magician because I don't want them to feel any um, weird. So, <laughs> you see, you see now. You see, you and you said before that people don't fear you. No, I just feel <laughs> this is Nigeria. When you say you're a magician, what comes into their ah, brain? Like, of course. So I just, I just, some of I just say I'm a student or I'm self-employed, even banks and everything. God help you, I'm there one day. You're telling people you're a student. Me, I will cobalize. I will just, I will open up straight. <laughs> now lie yo. Uh, uh, that would be it's a voodooist. <laughs> yeah, what is it's between voodoo and magic. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what is voodoo. All I do is magic. So uh, perhaps, you perhaps. guys are the one that says voodoo is real. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, yes, too smart. Why tattoo next? Because I'm wearing tattoo neck because of you. Why tattoo next all the time? I just like it. I just like it. it's just now. Cool and all that. Yeah. Okay. Um, you don't have a girlfriend. If you were caught on a deserted island, who would it be with? Yeah, you know nobody's there, just the two of you. Who would it be? Ah, uh, there won't be anybody. It's just be my magic. Yeah, your because magic. Because I actually don't. Uh, I don't have friends, and I'm like always alone. You say nobody fear no, you. No, it's me. It does. I think that's one of the reasons why I went into magic to be able to um, relate to people. Because even throughout my time in school, primary school, secondary school, I never had a friend. So till I started doing magic, then I get to relate to other people. Now I'm scared. No, it's not, it's just like I'm always like alone, alone, alone. Not because of. Okay, on this show, me, I'm not going to allow you do magic. He's a great magician. I'm not going to let him play any tricks here. If you want to see his tricks, you would have to follow up on other platforms where he does them. Yeah. And then because if I told him to move this glass now, this show will end. Because me, I, I scare easily. You know, I could just run out. A few minutes away from Babs, we'll be back. To conclude this, Babs, thanks for coming. We'll be right back. Thank you. Himo Hangout. All right, uh, welcome to Humor Hangout. Uh, I'm going to be your host. Nah, I'm just joking. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not your host. I'm not your host. You know, uh, Kofi Daguru, that guy, eh? He's a jack of all trade, master of all. He got to work every time. Well, bro, just take a busy. Everybody is not working like this. You know, that's something I've discovered in life. I've discovered, most especially in this country, that people actually take painkiller for no reason. Mm, they'll just swallow painkiller and drink for no reason. I saw one guy that, just, that took painkiller. He said, ah, excuse me, are you, are you sick? He said, no. You want to sick? He said, no. Are you planning to, are you planning to be sick? He said, no. He said, why are you taking painkiller? He said, guy, I want to go and check my jam results in case I fail. So that they say, no, go pay me. <laughs> Can you just imagine? God will help us. Now, one thing I want to say again about is uh, this issue of weed. Uh, they, we call it in the end, we call it Igbo. Now, let me tell you something. Let me educate you in case you don't know. There are three types of weed. We have marijuana, we have Indian hemp, we have Igbo. Now, Igbo is subdivided into two. We have SK, we have loud. Now, marijuana is for the Jamaicans. That's why Jamaican will soon to hear boom, boom, clack, man. They for the back, man. Rasta fried rice, fried dates, fried plantain, fried hen that's, that's for the marijuana. That's what one of our artists smoked and went for an event. The MC was, was, was chanting his name. The guy don't know what they call him. You know, ladies and gentlemen, boom, 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 we didn't know that that's why he was he was shouting we just uh, under the patwa the mc the, the mc now said ah this guy like the you want to me to introduce him maybe let me introduce him another let me introduce him another style in another, another jamaican style the mc now screamed oh ladies and gentlemen the very back one rust of that rice fry brains fry blondade bumbo clock man it was from my door and i like you answer it was one guy that was living there while i was living in jamaica for over 55 years Went to attack Patraki. Patraki, on go akana mo. Patraki say, oh, I call him a So I'm just trying to tell you that different type of weed. Now, 
the India hemp is made for the Indians. That's why Indian will smoke, smoke, smoke. They can sing for six hours. For six hours. They have that strength. Igbo! Now we get up. And our lawyer, they smoke. They, they usually remember cases. That's why when you're in court, you hear one lawyer with your shadow. It's not ordinary. It's not ordinary. It's, it's not ordinary eye. Now, now check. The people that sang that smoke this uh, weed. Check, they were freedom fighters and he sang good song with it. Now check Bob Mali. Bob Mali sang. Smoke sang good song. Oh tire yes, they rob I. So die to the mash and ships. Minute after they took I from the bottom bless pit. But my hand was made strong by the hands of the Almighty. We forward in this generation triumphantly. Would you have to sing? King, 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 king. This song of freedom. Can you see that? Now, Felas smoked that same weed and sang conscious music. The one dash me, you my right. Dun, 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 dun. You my right. Now my property. Dun, 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 dun. Majek Fashek, let Majek Fashek smoke that same weed, sang conscious music. Mama de la Magleta Cha. Hey, 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 hey. Free Mandela. Two face two, smoke that same weed, sang conscious music. All we need is one. Lord. Before I can smoke and wrongly. Two face smoke it wrongly. Two baba. After you said only with one love, you now went back to the studio and stand recording this song. If I could fly, 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 fly. Baba, you can answer yourself. Oh. Fly out to know where a baba. Baba. But this generation, I don't know what they I, I don't know, I don't know what it is smoke. Oh. This generation, I'm, I'm sure it's not going it's all dust. How can you smoke? Smoke, and you went to the studio, oh yeah. Ay! What is that song? Well, we are also. So this is just human hangout. I'm just here just to share uh, my experience. And please, I beg you. The reason I'm, I'm gonna I'm wrapping up. The reason why uh, they legalize weed in some countries is because they can use it because they can use it to enhance their economy. For example. Netherlands legalized weed. Canada did us that also too. I don't know if Nigeria. The reason why they cannot legalize weed here in Nigeria because there in Canada, the, the, the revenue they generate from, from weed processing or from weed selling, they use it to build the economy, build highway, build schools. If they use that same money here that we generate from weed here to build roads, trust me, people will not be applying, applying that road. People will not be passing that road. You know why? Because the road will turn to high. Thank you. Okay, guys, we're still here. It's Human Hangout. I'm with Babs Cardini, wonderful, great magician. He's an, an amazing fellow. Um, Babs, um, when you do eventually get married, would you want your son or daughter or somebody to follow in your stead? Of course, I mean, they can have their choice though, but I will actually engage my children to magic also because you build them from scratch, like from young age, they're going to be better and bigger. Well, like the Pellas, and, uh, but she not Pella ended up having Quillox and then went into a house. Yeah, there's nothing about magic, it, not everyone can do it. You can know how, you can know how it's done, but doing it and in a kind of easy way, you know, I do magic and it looks so easy to everyone. Yeah, your magic looks too easy. Some people yeah. find it very, very hard. So are, those are yeah. two things. Yeah, as in, I saw you at one wedding and... Come, all those dollars that you... Wait, do, are those dollars real? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me just say it. It's my choice. If I want it to be real, if I want it to be fake, it could be any of them. It's your choice. You can make it real or fake. This boy, you get money, oh. As in, someone like you, that, yeah. you know, if, if you walk past a buru, the changer, all these are bookies. <laughs> You can change their their dollar to fake and then swap it for your. I wouldn't do anything illegal, you know. Well, I like, like I that. Said, magic is for that one. I give it to you. Yeah, thank you. I give it to you for that one. That one thing you said, I, I give it to you. Um, I was going to play. A, you you are the one who does magic, but I have something that I also do with my guests. Okay, so I play a tongue twister, and I'm going to give you a word to repeat it. Okay. Uh, like three times. You, you good? Hmm. Try my best. Okay. 
It says Friday, February 1444. Father Francis fried five fishes for five fathers from France. It's too long. Oh, it's too long. When you are doing your own, you don't know. It's too long. I, uh, oh, I you, will, you will do it. So it uh, even the first line. Okay, just say, let's try. Friday, February 1444. Father Francis fried five fishes for five fathers from France. And we're going to do it very fast. I can do it fast so you know. Then you do it three times. You you want to fold my hand, I will fold you. This is the only place I have chance to fold your hand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go. Friday, Friday February 1444. Father Francis fried five fishes for five fathers from France. Three times. Five fishes. Yeah, let's go. Five fishes for what? Of five fathers from France, three times fast, not slow like this one. Friday, fourteen forty-four, father. <laughs> one. Uh-huh. It's oh, Friday, fourteen forty-four, father. Francis fried five fishes for five fathers from France. Five days. Uh, I was supposed to say it once, and that's I was. Uh, no, three times back to back. Oh, yeah. Uh, Friday, fourteen forty-four, father. Francis fried five. Fishes for uh-huh. <laughs> you only use happy magic. No. This is my own magic. This is this is my no, own it magic. Was, it was a short, like they say, this is long. Come uh-huh. on. It was short. Uh, no long thing. This one is <laughs> long. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's that's been our show, really. But um, I would love to have you here one more time. You know, um, you're an amazing person. I like yeah, you a thank lot. You very and much. Uh, you've been to a couple of my shows, and very supportive as well. Uh, shout out to your manager, Honors. You know, thank you so much, Honors. Thank you so much. Uh, I usually like to close the show by giving you a quote of the day, quote of the guru. Do you have anything to tell your fans, people who love what you do? You know how they can reach you, how they can watch out for your stuff. Are you on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Shazam? Uh, okay. There's so many. Okay. Where are you? So basically, I'm just on, I think, four platforms. That's Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. Okay, what's your handle? Uh, Bab Scardini. How do you platform. spell it? B-A-B-S underscore C-A-R-D-I-N-I. Okay, Bab Scardini. Ladies and gentlemen, follow Babs for more informing and entertaining magical tricks. i leave you with this quote. Um, it's from the book, Scars That Made Me a Star, my book. And this is uh, one of the quotes of the guru. It says, only fools tweet a lot of trash. Only a foolish fool replies. Know what I mean? And that's been our show for the day. Till next time, have an amazing, amazing, amazing time. Once again, Babs, thanks for coming. I have this for you. Yep. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Yeah, See your coffee. No. No? Okay. <laughs> this is what you have in there. It's a coffee that guru mug. Thank you very much. And then something, uh, and then mask and everything. Thanks for coming. God bless you. It's an amazing, 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 amazing Bob's Garden, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.